Yo guys and welcome back towards this new update video here on the channel. On today's update video I will be discussing the Fed raising basically the interest rates and what is of course still going to come for the further hikes we're probably going to get in terms of the interest rates. As well we'll be of course casually discuss Bitcoin and Ethereum analysis and Bitcoin is looking very bullish so make sure to watch this video till the end. I will be discuss a lot of interesting things but first of all let's start in with diving in towards the one hour time frame. Like we do know, if we're going to zoom out a little bit on Bitcoin, I have been yesterday talking about this very critical level that Bitcoin needs to be breaking. And I was talking about this 40.8k target. What we can see here from the left side that these were levels where we previously got rejected from off. And yesterday we were also looking at this level and getting rejected twice here. But of course in the last um, attempt here, while the Fed was of course uh, announcing the raise of the interest rates, we shoot up, we broke above it and currently we are flipping it into support. So this is actually looking like a pretty bullish retest of what we're currently getting. And this could be probably potentially lead towards a further continuation towards higher targets on the market. This movement that we yesterday did create here once the Federal Reserve was announcing those funding rates was actually pretty much like predicted because yes we did of course already talked about it and we did already of course warned you guys what was exactly about to go down in the telegram group and that prediction exactly played out here so if you want to be staying up to date with all market developments very time related market developments make sure to join our private telegram group where i do give all kinds of signals on the market when i'm opening a trade once i'm closing a trade once i'm taking profits literally everything in detail However, we are currently seeing a pretty bullish retest on the market. Looks pretty strong for Bitcoin, if you would ask me right now. Uh, at the same time, we are seeing that the RSI is starting to create a beautiful uptrend on Bitcoin. Of course, we do know as well that Bitcoin is creating an uptrend on the one hour time frame. But at the same time as well, we are, oh, excuse me, we are losing a little bit of our strength on this market. What I do mean with that is that the price action still continuously has been forming higher highs and the RSI has been still continuously forming lower highs, suggesting that we are seeing a little bit of a loss of strength across the market right here. Um, it's not too big of a deal here since we're right now retesting and we already came down of that diversion. Divergence, and we're still holding up this overselling support line and the overselling support line on the RSI. So it is actually still looking pretty good for Bitcoin. And in terms of accumulating positions, yes, I've been already in position. So for me, it's very easy to talk about it right here. By the way, that position I also announced on the, uh, the tele Telegram trading group here. But this is, of course, a, a good opportunity to still look at long positions, if you would ask me right now. But then we're going to talk about the most interesting chart. And the reason why I'm actually pretty bullish about the coming days for Bitcoin, it is this 4 hourly chart for Bitcoin. Because the 4 hourly chart, if you don't know already, has been one of the most important charts to look at in terms of trading Bitcoin and whatsoever. And what we can currently see is one hell of a major opportunity for you guys out there who has not been trading or whatsoever. And this is a massive opportunity. Let's say it like that. So what we can see is right now is that the market came down several times. We saw three like significant rejections and we were starting to form a downtrend on the four hourly chart. But what we did here yesterday is that we, of course, first of all, broke this horizontal range here, the 40K, what I, of course, talked about. If we break the 40K, we're probably going to right away shoot up towards 41, 42K, like we exactly did so far. Uh, beautiful predictions that we're making on the channel, beautiful analysis that we're making on the channel. So we broke this horizontal range here. Uh, we could be right now flip this level into the green actually because right now it is support and not resistance anymore. And afterwards we even were continuing and searching up further on. We right now broke above that critical downtrend that I was basically talking about and we're currently retesting it. So what can you do on this retest? I'm currently still in my long position and I will be right my long position further on towards the upside because I do believe that the chance is extremely likely to get a continuation from of this region. If we do look at the 4 hourly RSI, we can see also very stable growth. And if we're looking at the uh, MACD as well, um, if it loads up for a second right here, we can see as well we did have a bullish crossover already a while ago. And since of that bullish crossover, we did create more momentum towards the upside. And we've been basically also losing a lot of sell pressure on this uh, on this period of reaccumulation on Bitcoin. So it is actually pretty good here for the 4 hourly time frame. Beautiful retest allows us to take a beautiful trade towards the upside. Then yesterday I was announcing on my Twitter page that we were seeing a daily bullish MACD cross here. What you can see right now on the left side of my face here. Since of that daily bullish MACD cross, we moved up very quickly actually. And what we can see right now on the market is that first of all, Bitcoin broke this uh, this downtrend over here. What we were also basically looking at on the 4 hourly time frame, pretty bullish breakout in this bigger symmetrical triangle. because. In the end of the day, yeah, Bitcoin did broke out bullish, but what we want to be seeing here to be 
extremely bullish on Bitcoin is a break above that 45,000 US dollar level. As long as we're not breaking above the 45,000 US dollars, so basically this critical horizontal resistance range here, we are not going to necessarily look for targets around 60k or 70k or 80k. We're not looking at these extreme big bull market targets, right? So what I want to be seeing here is that Bitcoin does break this range. Why is this range so important? You can see, I zoom out right now and you can see all these arrows, these red arrows, and I see one is like incorrectly, this one should be the other way around. Um, this level is very important in terms of the volume and the liquidity that is currently trading there because there has been a lot of touches and a lot of rejections from this range, making it the most important range uh, to break. Trading below it means we are in bearish periods on the market. Trading above it means that we're in bullish market periods. So far, we're still trading below it. So as soon as we do break above it, we're going to be looking for more exponential higher targets. But as long as we're not doing so, we should stay really, uh, yeah, a little bit more calm on Bitcoin. Yes, I am uh, yeah, leaning towards a little bit more of the bullish edge here because of the quarterly time frame, but on the daily time frame, I actually can't be bullish yet here because we're still forming lower lows here, sorry, higher lows here and lower highs. So we're basically still in a consolidation period and consolidation after a very significant downtrend is usually not the thing that you do want to see over here on the market. Then let me talk a little bit about trades and a little bit about news here. So what did we know here? Why did the market actually moved up yesterday? Because I already warned you guys here, the Federal Reserve, of course, yesterday announced their 25 basis points uh, hike in the interest rates here. It was exactly like predicted because everyone already knew that they were going to hike the interest rates. So it was already priced in and that's why the market moved up rather than down. And that is going to be happening further on further on as well, because we're probably going to see this year uh, six more of these hikes in the interest rates here. So what we do know here is that the Fed approved a 0.25 percentage point hike in the uh, in the interest rate here. This is of course the first increase since 2018. And what does this actually mean here? It basically means right before we had zero percent. So if you're going to be borrowing money from the bank, you're paying zero percent like back to them and right now it is 0.25 percent so it makes it makes it less interesting to borrow money from the bank here and at the same time that means that there's less money going to get borrowed less money coming uh, getting printed because if you starting borrowing money from the bank that is how money gets created so the idea is to of course calm down the inflation also the chairman did told us that he is expecting to see similar inflation rates till the end of the year Meaning that we're probably still going to see these levels of 8% inflation year to year till at least the end of the year. And probably I wouldn't be surprised if we're even going to see it further in towards next year as well. So it is pretty interesting what we're currently getting. But so far, it is not really affecting the market so heavily. Um, if we're going to go, for, go further in towards the... Um, the analysis basically because i think that funding rates is part of the analysis we can see the market is still partially um yeah getting over leverage towards the downside on the token margin so on the uh, inverse perpetuals we're still seeing that people are more trading short than long and on the us dollar and use tether um, margins we're seeing neutral funding rates so basically we're leaning a little bit more to the bullish edge in terms of what uh, the leverage is currently doing here so after a significant rally towards the upside still people are more yeah putting in more and more shorting positions what is actually a pretty bullish sign if you would ask me here then give you guys a quick update here on my trade here. I currently am still in 4,000 US dollars profit. But what is nice about this trade is that I yesterday already closed an approximately 0 0.8. So an approximately 3 to 4,000 US dollars in profit. And you know what is even more beautiful? I literally announced while I was opening this trade it in my Telegram group. Like at the moment. And like the market went down like another 400 US dollars once I opened it. But so you had a major opportunity as well. Join me on these trades here. If you're interested in joining me on these trades, first of all, set up your Bybit account in the link description because you are going to get a 4,100 US dollars deposit bonus if you do use my link in the description right here. But second of all, join my Telegram group so you will not miss out on any of these trading signals, what we are going to give to you guys out there. So uh, absolutely amazing trade so far. I closed, uh, like I told you, 20% yesterday, what you can see over here, close PL. Uh, you can see it over here. I close uh, first 13,000 quantity and then 19,000 quantity. So I close a very significant amount of my trade here, approximately 20 to 25% here. I'm currently still 92,000 US dollar uh, long position. But basically, I also have my 
stop loss and profit so we once again we so far we made three trades together here on the telegram group and we've made three winning trades so we're doing an absolutely amazing job here if the market is indeed going to come down again we benefited from it and we're going to look at the next opportunity because then we of course locked in a decent amount of like a, a three four thousand US dollars in profit uh, and we're going to look to the next trade and we're building and building and building for it on here so the tradings um, are doing very very well here this is also the time that you should be dedicated to trading because this is the time that you can easily make money in the markets once the market is a little bit more fair uh, because yeah we still do know that the extreme fear is ruling in the market so interested if you're interested in trading check out the link in the description to get a deposit bonus and join my telegram group to stay up to date on my trades here then go further into our set and let's talk about ethereum because i am about actually to open a massive trade on ethereum because there is a massive opportunity about to occur on this market so ethereum has been trading basically in this very significant downtrend like basically consolidation trend i should say because we're forming also higher lows there We've been forming lower highs on the, on the top side over here on the market. We've been coming down and we're still trading in this downtrend. We're still trading in downtrend. We're still trading in bearish markets, basically, on Ethereum. Um, and what we want to be seeing here is that Ethereum does break this top side of resistance, right? So last time, while, while we were discussing the breakthrough on Ethereum, it had a massive surge towards the upside. It was like we moved up more than an approximately 8% in one day in 16 hours. What well, is pretty decent, if you would ask me here. Right now as well, we're forming a higher high, but we're getting rejected by our resistance zone. What I want to be seeing here is that Ethereum does break this top sign of downward sloping resistance. If we do break this, this is going to be allowing us to take a massive trade towards the upside on Ethereum because that basically suggests towards us that we're breaking the downtrend and probably are going to see a continuation towards the upside getting generated from that point. So that is actually looking pretty strong, if you would ask me. But then let me talk a little bit more in depth about Ethereum and about the daily time frame because, yes, you do know, I think daily time frames are beautiful for trading, especially if you're a swing trader just like me here. You can easily take so many beautiful trades on the daily time frame. And what we can see over here is that we're forming a falling wedge here. And the falling wedge is about to be breaking out. We could argue it's already broken out. But I want to be seeing another confirmation. I don't really like the breakout so far. I don't really approach it like a proper breakout yet. So I want to be waiting for another daily candle close here. And maybe then of course, like approach it like a daily breakout. But we are creating a falling wedge. And I'm not necessarily saying uh, you should wait for your entry. Because the market can absolutely explode today. Because this is looking like a very bullish bias pattern that we currently have on this market. But uh, Ethereum is creating a very, very bullish pattern right now here. If we're going to be breaking out, we're going to be looking for an approximately gain towards the upside of an approximately 20, yeah, 17 to 20% here towards the upside. So if you're taking a falling fixed leverage long position, like a very small leverage position towards the upside, you could be making tons of money from here on. Um, so that's also my strategy, what I will be doing. I'm going to be swinging the market of Ethereum back up, especially, guys, um, why I will be doing so is because the risk of Ethereum is right now extremely low here. I mean, I, I don't know if you've already seen it. Like, I use this chart. This is the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin chart. This is a very important chart to look at. And it, of course, gives us right now a signal that we're sitting at extreme low values, suggesting that it is a very good time for accumulating Ethereum against Bitcoin. First of all, very good signal to be buying your Ethereum right here. Ethereum is undervalued compared to Bitcoin over the recent weeks, recent months here. But besides this, I use this chart as a risk metrics because we do know that always once ethereum is measured low against bitcoin the risk and there is extreme fear usually it comes it comes together with extreme fear in the market and it means that people are basically inserted about what all coins are going to do you can see there's so much money going out of all coins and people are uncertain they don't know what to do so the risk is right now extremely low of accumulating altcoins in general and ethereum and of course if we're sitting on these higher ranges so if we're sitting on those um the stop range is above the 0 0.078, basically. We are basically trading at extreme high risk ranges here for accumulating altcoins and Ethereum, of course. So right now we are having extremely low accumulation risk uh, for Ethereum. Of course, we could also still come down further from here on, but it shows at least a sign of um, a low risk accumulation. And what you're looking at if you're going to be investing in crypto is look not necessarily where the exact bottom is, but where you can accumulate at low risk for potential high rewards. And that is currently what we're seeing. So I'm actually looking to be uh, accumulating more and more Ethereum from this range here. So guys, if you do like this video, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to our channel, it will be highly appreciated. It's once again a very long video today, but so many things to discuss, so many amazing things to discuss actually. So hopefully you do like the videos. Let me know in the comments section and join a telegram group follow me on twitter follow me on instagram if you want to see what i'm doing here because i'm currently in a very cool place follow me on instagram if you want to be finding out but anyways guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye